Hi, and welcome to Atomic Darts. I'm your host, Matthew. On this channel, we take a look at darts, darts-related materials, and other items I think the darting community should know about. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. All right, so today we're gonna to be looking at practice routines. These are actually four of my favorite practice routines. Whether you're a beginner, an amateur, or a pro, or somewhere in the middle, these practice routines will help your darts get better. All right, let's get into it. All right, so our first practice game is calendar. I'm gonna go ahead and start throwing at the board and I'll explain it why I'm throwing. Let's do that now. All right, so here in calendar, what I'm doing is I'm picking a day of the calendar. So my one through 20 would be my first one through 20 in the calendar month, so days. Uh, and then I've got the green bit right here and I've got the red bit. So basically, if today was the 10th, I'm gonna throw at the 10 segments. You know, I'm gonna probably throw out some triples, but I'm gonna primarily be throwing at my double tens. If it was the first, I'm really gonna be trying to hit my double ones. I don't really care much more. I might sit some in this segment in case I needed that segment. Um, once I get to the 21st, I'm gonna shoot at the green here at the bullseye, and then on the 22nd, I'm gonna go there. And then on the 23rd, I'm probably gonna shoot at 18s because that's my nemesis or some other area within the dartboard. That's kind of how this goes. All right, let's say today is the 10th. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I'm a little high right now. So again, I'm trying to throw here at the 10. Not even close, a little better. At least I got the segment there. All right, so that was calendar. Again, we're taking the first 22 days of the month and we're throwing in a particular segment for that day. It doesn't mean to have to be your entire practice by any means, but if you got 15 minutes to throw practice, you got a break if you're working at home nowadays like I am, um, or whatever the case may be, you've only got a little bit of a time, that's a great one to just jump into and whatever the day it is, you know where you're throwing and you're practicing getting memory for throwing at that particular number slash out, okay? It's muscle memory for you on that. So I really like that one. The next one we're gonna do is outs and I'll explain that and show you as we go to the board. Let's do that now. All right, so to play outs, basically what I'll do to start off with or what's a good one for a beginner is to pick a, an out that you might have. Um, say it's um, a 32, so you'd be throwing at the 16s, right? So double 16 is 32. So what you're gonna wanna do is throw for that out and oh, I hit the 16 on my first dart. Well now my out is 16, so I wanna throw at the double eight. So I'm gonna throw this until I go out. Now I hit the eight, so now I'm gonna jump up to the double four which I missed, and so I'm gonna retrieve my darts, I'm gonna stay on the double four. I wanna complete this as if I'm in a game or in a match. So I'm gonna look for the double four, which, there I go. So now I'm out, now I'm gonna come back, retrieve my dart, and I'm, I'm more or less gonna stay down here, and I'm gonna play this particular number for a while, and then I'll jump around to some other outs, maybe my favorites so that I can work those, or I'm gonna work on the ones that are difficult. To step it up a level, would be to go for a, a triple numbered out, so something that's in the ton plus. So maybe it's a ton. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna throw for a ton out. So now I got a 20, so I got 80 left. Ah, oh, I got 60 left. Now I got 59 left. Oh, that's nice. So again, I'm gonna play this out. So I got 59 left couple different ways I can do this. So 19, now I got 40 left. Oh. All right, so I got 20 left. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Not that way. There we go. All right, so I went ahead and completed that cleared that out. So, that, right, so that's how you play outs. Basically, start with, especially if you're new to darts, a, a, in a typical double out, like a 32, a 40, a 10, something that you can work with and get down to. And if you do get to one, 
you know, you've got two left and that's your out and you're in what, what's called the madhouse, just play that one out and <laughs> you may go mad trying to hit the double one, but that's kind of the point. So just go ahead and play it out and then as you get better at darts or if you're seasoned at darts, of course, you're going to want to work on those triples, those higher outs where you've got ton plus outs. All right, so that's that one. Now, all right, so our third practice game is called Chase the Flight. Let's head over the board and I'll explain Chase the Flight to you now. All right, so in Chase the Flight, it's a pretty simple one. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna throw a dart and you can kind of nonchalantly throw a dart or you can pick a particular number you wanna throw, but I'll just throw a dart and well, I hit the bullseye. So now what I wanna do is chase the flight. I wanna throw my dart actually at that flight or at the barrel. I'm trying to get my groupings close. I'm trying to learn how to bounce my dart in off a barrel or off a flight. But it's really, I'm instead of aiming at the board, I'm aiming at the end of the flight. All right, so there, it's a, a, a close grouping, not super close, but you get the idea. Again, here what I'm trying to do is I'm gonna just throw the dart nonchalantly at the board, and now I'm aiming at that flight. All right, so that was chase the flight. Again, it's a pretty simple one. You want to throw a dart. You can pick a particular number if there's one that you're looking for, a triple or a double that you're, you're working on, or you can just nonchalantly throw the dart at the board and not pick any particular area. Sometimes I'll close my eyes and even do it. Um, but then I want to focus in on the flight. I'm trying to get my groupings tight and I, I'm not, at that point, I'm not throwing in any particular segment or area on the board. I'm really throwing for the flight. And I'm using that as my entry point. It's a little bit closer. That's what I'm trying to aim for in regards to getting my groupings tighter. All right, and our fourth game that I like to play is called the blind man or the no look throw. I call it the blind man or the blind throw. And really what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a spot on the board. I'm gonna look at it, close my eyes and throw open my eyes, take a look at that same spot, close my eyes and throw, make adjustments mentally, not visually, but mentally and with the feel of the throw. And let's go ahead and see what that looks like now. All right, so again on the blind man here or the blind throw, what I wanna do is I literally wanna pick a number, I'm gonna say the 57, which is the triple 19. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna throw at that segment. So I'm going to look at it real quick. I'm going to close my eyes and then make my normal throw and see where I end up. Wow. So I'm off. I need to kind of readjust and focus in on that before I make my next throw. Well, I've come down, I'm getting a little bit closer, and now my third one. So that was even closer. That's what I'm looking to try and do. I'm gonna try and hone that in. All right, so on that fourth practice game, I'm literally picking a segment, closing my eyes and throwing at the board. And it takes a little bit of adjustment. It's really for feel. Uh, if you watch some pro players, they've done this stuff on the PDC. They'll have some fun where they'll have the guys close their eyes or they'll put a blindfold on them and have them throw for the bullseye. And surprisingly enough, they're, most of them are close and I've seen some of them like Phil Taylor literally hit that thing in one barrel one throw and hit the bullseye, totally blindfolded. Um, and it's really a matter of feel, just having an incredible amount of feel of the board in your throw, knowing, having so many throws at the bullseye or at a triple 20 or at a triple 19 or whether it's a double 17, but having so many throws, thousands upon thousands of throws and hitting it that your body just actively does it, even whether you're blindfolded or not. But that is an incredible way to get good feel at throwing the dart at a particular segment. All right, so there are four really good practice routines for you to add into your practice day, or if you've got a couple of minutes and you wanna just take one of those and run with it, the first one would be the one that I would do, the calendar is the one I like to do when I've got 10 or 15 minutes to, to get a quick practice in. Um, so I recommend that you add these into your practice routine and if you're an amateur, go ahead and take all these and run with them, have some fun with it if you're new to darts. If you're a pro and you've already got a routine and you want to take a, one of these ideas and insert it, feel free to. I think it's going to help your game out, it's going to make you even better 
at darts. Thanks for catching this episode of Atomic Darts, where we like to look at darts, darts-related materials, and other items I think the darting community should know about. And we also like to do some educational stuff at the same time. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like and share and hit the bell, and you'll know whenever we post another video. Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.